Hey guys, Cosmo here. It's been a while since I posted any new quadcopter stuff, but I've got an exciting new project that I'm going to start, and I'm going to tell you about it. It's a new copter, and it's 3D printed. Can you believe it? Well, anyway, it's called the Crossfire 2 um, by Mikey B on Thingiverse, and as of today, there are 34 people that have posted pictures of the one they built, so it's been successful and there's a huge amount of support from other people on this thing so there are replacement pieces upgrades all kinds of things that you can get for it uh, this one is designed to hold an APM flight controller uh, which is also what I used in the 3d printed inspire one project so I might just do that again since I'm familiar with that already and those are fairly inexpensive um, so I'm gonna try printing this one in PLA instead of ABS and we'll see how that goes. Um, if it melts, then I will have learned my lesson and won't make that mistake again. I've had people ask me why I bother 3D printing copter frames when I could go buy one for $20. Well, there's a couple reasons. One is I can make it myself, turning a spool of plastic I already have into a, an actual item that I can use. Um, the second thing is I don't have to wait for replacement parts. In fact, I could print extra parts ahead of time so that when they break I already have new ones ready to go and I could be up and running again in a matter of hours or less depending on the difficulty of replacement um, while you will be waiting for two weeks for it to come from China on the slow boat so it's not all bad when printing copters in fact I've had fairly good success so far I guess as soon as I got the Inspire 1 project straightened out. Okay so I'm gonna print this one in PLA in orange and white and I think I'm gonna call it the Dream Sickle and uh, this thing has an attachment point for a GoPro on the front of it already, so I'll probably fly around with the GoPro on it. Um, it won't be an aerial photography platform, but it will probably be a lot of fun to fly and probably turn into my regular flyer that I use just for fun. So let's get this uh, frame built and get this going. Okay, so instead of using threaded inserts, this particular build uses M3 hex nuts that you press into those slots on the top and bottom. So it requires six nuts per arm. Um, add a dab of glue. Okay, I would say that's in. Now you just need to repeat that 23 more times. So, as far as construction goes, this frame is the easiest to build yet, uh, and here it is. You can see it's got gimbal balls on the bottom. The battery hangs from this, as well as the GoPro mount spot on the front. And this little platform on the top is for the flight controller which is designed for the size of an APM so I'm probably going to use that. Um, my main concern with this is that I printed it in PLA and it might melt or it might just snap if I hit the ground a little too hard but we'll see. Worst case is I replace parts with ABS. Who knows, we'll see but the feet on the landing gear or on the wing here is a uh, one piece so that's one of the things people have printed or designed alternate parts for is ones with the feet that are removable so that they can replace just that piece if they break it rather than having to change out this entire arm uh, these are so big I had to print them diagonally as you saw so it takes a while to make a new one so stay tuned for part two where we finish wiring this thing up and then I go out and crash it hopefully not but I probably will. You've seen, if you've seen my other videos, you know I pretty much crash everything, so stick around. Hey, don't forget to click the subscribe button, because if you don't, you're going to miss it when Caesar finally crashes that Terret 680 right into my head someday. It's going to happen eventually, it's just a matter of when, and you don't want to miss it.